Ihonere e kiloli e ki te atua tihei i Māori ora. No mai hari mai ki tēnei wharakele kia, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Good morning, school. Welcome to chapel. Please be seated. Ki te unua te tama, te wailu te tapu. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we gather this morning. Amen. So today we've had one chapel dedicated to the Cambodia experience. And today we've got our second one, our final one, in respect of last year's trip in 2023. Today we've got some of our student leaders, some of those who were involved in that experience last year, speaking really to the next generation, speaking particularly to the why. Why should we go? Why should we consider this? Why should we support the work of Flame? Why are we partnered? It's a, a really good um, service plan for this morning to think about how we go about approaching the 2024 experience. So, the Lord be with you. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. May Noitata, let us pray. Lord, help us to see. To see what is eternally good and true. And having seen, to go on searching until we come to the joys of heaven. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, too, for our opening hymn, we sing three verses of that wonderful hymn, Amazing Grace. Jesus makes a point about the special place that children and young people have in the kingdom of God. One day, some parents brought their children to Jesus so he could bless them, but the, but the disciples scolded the parents for bothering him. When Jesus saw what was happening, he was angry with his disciples. He said to them, let the children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. I tell you the truth, anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God, like a child, will never enter it. Then he took the children in his arms and placed his hands on their heads and blessed them. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. So, 2024 experience. Why should I go? Why should I consider it? Of course, this is really a message in part to the Year 12 students sat in chapel this morning because it's from your group that we will recruit. But it's also something to consider Year 9, Year 10, 11 as well as this invitation will come your way over the coming years. Year 13s, you may sat there thinking you've missed the boat, you missed the opportunity. But of course, we all have the opportunity to support the work of Flame Cambodia. We have the Borders Charity Relay coming up in the end of the first week of term two and the borders every year smash that right out of the park with incredible efforts fundraising running walking and so forth we all have an opportunity to engage at different levels with the work of flame in cambodia 
And of course, building the pyramid, of course, at the top is the experience of visiting the place and the spaces themselves. In respect of the why, we've just heard that short extract from one of the accounts of the life of Jesus. It's in fact the only snippet of gospel text that we have where we have some direct referencing to Jesus actually dealing directly with young people and children. In fact, it's the only one, and thank God it's there. No time to go into it now, but for 2,000 years, it's had a massive impact on the life of the church, particularly in how it responds to the needs of youth and young people. Why do we go? Well, there's that text about the importance of children through the eyes of God, and also that wonderful quote at the top there. If we go back one slide, you can't save the whole world, but you can be the whole world to one person. And that indeed is what truly happens in the streets of Phnom Penh at the end of December each year. We've met Sue. We introduced you to her last time we spoke about this. A modern anti-slaver. Ironically, the hymn chosen this morning to start us off, Amazing Grace, was written by a slave trader, John Newton. He was a captain of a slave ship taking African slaves from West Africa across to the West Indies in the Caribbean and with the produce and the products back into the UK, the great triangle of the transatlantic slave trade. He was not a good man. Many died at his hands. Like St. Paul, like the Hucker you celebrated so beautifully yesterday, he too had a massive U-turn. He changed. And as he lost his sight as an older man, realizing the errors of his youth and uh, the way in which he had able to be a, a strong Christian leader in the second half of his life, he wrote Amazing Grace. I once was blind, but now I see, just like the stanza, the action in the haka, getting new information, receiving a new experience, and therefore changing your outlook on life. Sue was inspired to take the ambulance from the bottom to the top, inspired by this text from St. Paul to fan into flame the gift of God. And we've been a proud partner with that for some time now. Why should I go? Well, let's have a look at the typical day in the office. I was raised down the road from my primary school, walking alongside my mum to school every day with paved paths beneath my feet. Seeing kids crossing rivers of sewage with torn clothes walking into the centres in Cambodia, you have no idea what to expect. It gave me a sense of appreciation that nothing else could. In these, in these centres, you are made to think on your feet and come up with completely new activities on the spot. Although stressful at times, being in the centres didn't feel like a job. Being greeted with infectious smiles and unwavering positivity from the kids every time we walked through the doors of those centres made me feel a sense of warmth like no other. When I think about this, one boy in particular comes to mind. He stuck with me the entire day at BTB and the smile on his face never th faded throughout the day. Although we were knackered by the end of each day, everyone showed up for each other and had each other's backs. Going on this trip gives you the opportunity to connect with people. In Cambodia, you will meet some of the kindest, most positive people. Staying in a villa with peers you might not know too well from school creates strong friendships with people you would never expect. You'll be introduced to a whole new culture over there, opening a new door to the way that other people live. This perspective can be emotional, but I believe that everyone would benefit from seeing it. No matter who you are or what background you come from, I would encourage you to sign up for this trip. It's truly life-changing, and every person in this room would be impacted by the deeply by the things you experience in Cambodia. Fortunately, Sam is sick, but his words will be read to us by Ollie. Nine thousand two hundred and ninety-two kilometers, 
and a total of 13 hours flying away is Cambodia, the home of flame. And alongside 29 other students on December the 3rd, 2023, I boarded the 11 hour flight to Singapore airport to then fly an additional two to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, where we would stay for the next two and a bit weeks to aid flame in their efforts of educating and enter entertaining children from the Cambodian slums. Now you may think that two and a bit weeks sounds like a long time, because it is. However, due to the amount of stuff going on, it truly flies by. From working with your peers to helping educate children to concerningly thorough massages, alongside all the activities you will learn about the history of Cambodia. We visit a prison where locals were held and the killing fields. Now, not all of your time is spent in Phnom Penh. Alongside this, you will drive to the more tourist oriented Siam Reap, where you will see the sunrise over Angkor Wat and visit numerous temples, zip lines, and hold spiders. The experience the wonder, experience the wonder that is the nights at Pub Street where you and your friends are given free reign to choose where you eat and blow all of your money. Now, my experience in Cambodia isn't all of a sudden making me want to become a doctor, teacher or health professional. However, it did have a resounding impact on my life. The trip to Cambodia opened my eyes to the things that happen in other countries that are not often deemed newsworthy, such as Donald Trump's latest court case or how much CO2 Taylor Swift contributes each year but are still happening with little to no action. My experience in Cambodia with the Flame team showed me that there are people who care enough about this to make a change no matter how small. And I would encourage any and all people to experience this trip if given the chance. Flame, a familiar word and a charity we all know. But what you don't know from the screens of the chapel is the true impact they have on the children of Cambodia. It is easy to perceive, sitting where you are right now, that it's just another story of a child in a less fortunate circumstance than yourself. But these children we see on the screens have names, have a life, have a personality, and most importantly, they have hope and a future, thanks to the amazing work of Flame. The vivid memories of children running up to you as soon as you set foot through the Flame centres are ones I will forever cherish. The energy the children bring radiating throughout the room, so ready to learn. The smiles, the laughs, despite the language barrier and everything in between. The children's circumstances and living environment so vastly different to our own, yet their thirst for knowledge was so large. My experience in Cambodia is one that I will forever cherish. Teaching me many lessons, but also carrying so much fun. Making memories I look back on and smile at. If there is one opportunity you take this year, Take the Cambodia service trip because it will truly change your life and thinking forever. I went on this trip to see the real world. See the real world I did. But on that flight home, I concluded it wasn't about the real world. It wasn't about what I saw or touched or smelt or heard or tasted, but rather the connections I made with the kids, the teachers, the football coaches, the bus drivers, the tuk-tuk drivers, you name it. But most prevalent of all, to all the connections with the rest of the cohort I shared the experience with. Now, four years you run laps around a course once every second term, the charity relay. Raise your 50, 100, 200 dollars Enjoy sitting at dinner in Mufti for a couple of weeks and be done with it. Watch Mr. Foot on the projector in chapel, sitting on a tuk-tuk, saying how we fund this bike every year and how important it is to a few underprivileged kids on the other side of the globe. A substantial contribution to a good cause. You sit there and say to yourself, yeah, I made a difference. But not till you stand there in a tiny classroom sweat dripping down your face on the other side of the globe, in front of 50 innocent faces and their weary parents, handing out stationery and uniforms as if you're Father Christmas. Grins spread across two smiles from these kids when they put their baggy white shirts on for the first time. Then, and only then, do you truly realise why you run those laps every year and are thankful for all those who do. I didn't know it when I signed up for Cambodia 2023, 
but that's why I got on that plane. When I was confronted with the history, poverty, and hardship firsthand, I saw how most people in this world live. The people who aren't on our screens, in our media, who we don't see every day, and for that matter, do not hear about. The overlooked. Something Angelina Jolie touched on in an Academy Awards speech, I wish to modify today to make more relevant to the Cambodia trip. I have never understood why some people are lucky enough to be born with the chance that I had, to have this path in life, and why across the world there is a girl just like me, with the same abilities and the same desires, the same work ethic and love for her family, who will most likely be a better student and make better speeches, only she lives with barely a roof over her head, not even a dollar to her name, living in the urban poor conditions of Phnom Penh. She worries about what her siblings will eat, how to keep them safe, and if they'll ever be allowed to attend school. No one can explain why this is my life and that is hers, but what I can make definite is that all of us sitting in the chapel today are so fortunate. As we reflect on our privilege, acknowledge it, but also use it as a leverage for those less fortunate. I encourage each of you to use this opportunity to make those who Cannot help, to help those who cannot help themselves. Cambodia not only is probably the most rewarding experience you'll ever partake in, but you actually get to notice how you make a difference to change the world around you. It's something so powerful that you can't express through words. One just has to witness it. So there we have it right from the horses' mouths, and thank you so much for taking the time to write and to reflect and to offer those incredible, insightful thoughts and reflections for us this morning. So that's kind of us done, and I'll talk a little bit more about where to sign up or where to express an interest at this stage um, just shortly after our, our time of prayer. So now let us pray. God of life and love, we give you thanks today for the inspirational story of Sue Hannah and Flame Cambodia. 
We thank you for the way in which you have called her and inspired her and her amazing team to work with the young people of Cambodia. Thank you for the programs and initiatives which constantly seek to lift people out of poverty into bright and better futures for themselves and their families. Thank you for the trip we all had, the adventure that it was, and the life-changing ex transformation experience that we each had. We give you thanks for the special partnership between Flame Cambodia and St. Paul's Collegiate School and pray for your continued blessing on it as we plan fundraising initiatives and another adventure in 2024. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's now time for silent prayer and reflection. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we pray together in Te Reo. E to mato mato i te rangi, kia tapu to ingoa, kia tai mai to rangatiratanga, kia me te to pai ai, ki ranga ki te whenua, kia rite anō ki to te rangi, hō mai kia mato ai nei, he taroma mato mō tēnei rā, murua o mato hara, me mato huki e muri nei, i o te hunga e hara ana ki a mato, awa huki mato e kawia ki a fakawaya. Ngari fako rangia mato i te kino, no huki te rangatira tanga, te kaha, me te karoria, ake, 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 amene. I thank you, Vesh, for taking the lead there for the Lord's Prayer in today. So, a thanks, really, a special thanks to Lily, to Sam, to Brian, to Tom, and to Sadie, and to Ollie for reading Sam's words out. They were powerful, outstanding reflections. Thank you. You did yourselves proud, and particularly those people you met and worked with, those connections you spoke to. Round of applause. So in respect of this expressions of interest are now open, it's not a commitment at this, stage, at this stage, it's just an opportunity, an invitation for you to find out some more. There's a form in the school notices, go to that, add your name and details, and there will be an information evening here in chapel on five, at 5.30 on Sunday, March the 24th, and that's an invitation for you and your parent, caregiver, etc to come with you as well to find out a little bit more bit more detail about this year's trip in terms of mission we've got a busy uh time ahead year 11s thank you again please keep signing up for that for that rock program over the fence clark and hall tomorrow thank you and we've also got serve saturday thank you to those who filled that roster that's at 4 30 tomorrow outside sorry saturday outside chapel and sunday morning we're at the hospital 8.45 at Chapel South. Heaps going on, and again, thanks for the relay. Please support that. It's uh, um, 7185 now, and that's in just a couple of weeks away. Casual close day, charity day, that's on the 21st of March. That's two weeks today. We're supporting the work of Rock, the refugee centre. They had their AGM last night, and myself and Roy was able to go and represent the school at that over in the council offices. A great evening, a real celebration of their work. And what was particularly interesting, when they did the sort of wash up at the end and the messages of thanks, uh, we were first up. There was a huge expression of thanks to St Paul's community for our support for that program, for how we get behind them, our students' involvement, the use of our facilities and a whole range of things. They were, without us, they're really, they would be really struggling to get a lot of their programs up and running and off the ground properly. So shout out to you guys for your support for that. Let's pray God's blessing upon us. And we'll sing our final song. I think we'll just sing two verses in the choruses of Shine, Jesus, Shine, after this blessing. Matimaria te ato te kori nei te ai te whakoro e te aki a koutou nā ko koutou hini naro i roto i a karaiti ihu. A kewea maua ki a ohuki ki a koutou te manaki e te ato a koua. E te matua, te tamata wadu, te tapu, a i nei, a ake tonu atu. Amen.
So may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Spirit, be upon you, be upon all those whom you love, those you care for and pray for, and upon all those at work today in all the different parts of the world to bring about love and grace, kindness, and a future. Amongst them we find flame. Amen. Let's stand. A couple of verses, the first and the last. So, Matteo, you have to be on to it. Shine, Jesus, shine. Thank you. Good job we know it, eh? Apologies for the technical hiccup there. I think it was my fault with the clicker as much as uh, what was going on at the back. So let's pray together God's, uh, the words of the grace from St. Paul until I end in English. Kia tau, kia tato katoa. Te atawhaa te tato na riki a ihu kuraiti. Me te aha o te atua. Me te whiwhina tahitanga ki te waru tapu. Ake, ake, ake. Amen, eh? May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Amen. Let's go in the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the dignity of the Holy Spirit. Kia kaha, kia hari, kia tapu. Be strong, be happy, be holy. Have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Dunlop. Mm -hmm.